Well, this is a very special occasion here at the Pinnacle Training Complex because we have four sporting Kansas City legends who have all committed their futures to Kansas City. And uh, we've had a chance to get to know these guys and they've established their careers already in Kansas City. And now we know that it's going to continue uh, for the foreseeable future. So with that, Matt Beasler, Elie, Graham Zussi, and Roger Espinoza, it's a, a congratulatory time. It's a special time for the fans, guys. I, I don't know how much you think about that from your perspective. And maybe I'll start with you, Matt, and go down the line just in terms of what maybe excites you the most about the idea of knowing that not only are you going to be here, but with a group of guys that you've already accomplished so much with. Yeah, it doesn't really change a whole lot with my approach. Uh, my approach is going to stay the same and um, business as usual. Uh, I love, you know, taking the field every Saturday night at Children's Mercy Park and love playing with, with all my teammates, uh, especially these three guys sitting next to me. Um, they, they, uh, they make me better. Um, I really enjoy, you know, being on the field with them. And, and they push me every single day to, uh, to, to you know, make me a better player. So um, it's, it's an, an honor to you know, share the field with them and I'm um, looking forward to, like you said, the, the future and getting to play many more games with these guys. Ilya, what about you? I think um, a fair thing to say right now is that I'm not yet at their level, as you said, um, as a legend of this club. Um, this is my second season uh, with uh, them, and I'm so proud uh, to be here right now with them. Just uh, announcing that we are going to be here for many more years, so um, makes me proud that, and makes me proud um, because I think that this is the right place to be, um, and that's what I thought when I decided to just extend my contract. How about you, Graham? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for what the future has to come. Um, and even more so that I get to do it with, uh, with these guys here. Um, I fell in love with, with Kansas City pretty early on and uh, I fell in love with the city, fell in love with the fans, and um, that hasn't changed at all. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to to have uh, a few more years here in Kansas City, and um, I think I've, I've said it before, I couldn't see myself uh, anywhere else but here. Roger? Um, you know, when I came back in uh, 2015, you know, um, there was no other club I wanted to be at. I knew I was going to come back here, and for me to continue uh, at this club is a, it's a privilege, I would say, you know. Uh, you can see the facilities, um, the environment, the culture that, um, after I left and came back, they still Beasley uh, and Zeus kept in the club and still continuing to be that. And, you know, I see a lot of important things coming in this club and it's one of the main reasons why I wanted to continue in, uh, my career here and, uh, you know, what a better place. So, Matt, each one of you guys, by the way, has, has a bit of a different story to tell, as you kind of alluded to just now. I want to explore that a little bit more. Matt, for you, born and raised here, I mean, this is... This is the town that, that you grew up watching the Wizards when you were a kid. Do you have to pinch yourself at all to think about the fact that you've, you've played in this uniform and not only do you get to play in your hometown, but you guys have had the type of success that you have over that, uh, that string of time with hopefully more to come? You know, I haven't ever thought about it like that. Uh, one day I hopefully will uh, when, I'm, when I'm done playing and when I'm old and nobody cares about me anymore. Uh, <laughs> But right now, I'm, I'm just focused on what's in front of me. Uh, I've always had that approach. And like I said, it's, it's not going to change with, with this announcement. But uh, you know, I've just tried to do whatever I can to help the team, uh, tried to win as many games as possible. And um, you know, it's, it's just like Roger said, it's, it's a privilege to be here. You know, I feel like <clears throat> looking back to where we started and where we are now, we, uh, we've built something really special. And I think all of us feel a part of that. And so from that perspective, 
it, it feels good to, to know that, you know, you played a very small part in, in creating something special for the fans and, and for Kansas City. Uh, but we're still creating it. We're still building on, you know, what started a long time ago and, and what many people have, have put time and effort into. Um, and we want to, you know, push it as, as high as we can um, so that whenever we do leave and we're done playing, you know, it's in a much better place, um, a higher place than where we um, first entered, if that makes sense. Yeah, certainly does. Ilya, you, you referenced that it's only your second season here, but it seems like you just hit the ground running with this organization and the fit was there. I remember talking to you when you first got here, though, that it wasn't really the city that you were concerned with. You were concerned with the soccer and being in an organization where it fit. I'm curious in this time, how has your relationship with the city grown and why is the fit so perfect for you here in Kansas City out of all the places you could have been in the world? As I told you, I think that um, I told you then when I first came here and it's the same. They have been doing the same things for many years. So I just had to maybe be smart and, and know what, were, what they, were, they have been doing for, for all these years and try to fit um, as just one more player. So um, if you ask me a part of, of uh, the soccer thing, um, the city is so easy. Um, it's a friendly city. Um, it's a city where um, everywhere you, you can go, uh, people just have uh, nice words for you, even they are not um, agree with your performance or, or, or the team performance, they just have uh, uh, the right word and the good word for you. Uh, so that makes you feel home. Um, and obviously I'm here to play soccer, uh, to enjoy doing my job, but um, uh, if you ask me about the city, I just can say that um, I feel home here. So uh, we are here and we are happy to be here, but what we are doing right now is just um, a happy thing. So we will be the same guys. We will keep doing the same things uh, on the field and off the field. And, and uh, that's what uh, we want to, to keep doing. Okay, everybody's using the word home. Graham, I know you've used it before too, but and this is the only uniform you've worn for a professional team. We all know the story, you and Matt, you know, coming out of the same draft class, living in the basement, all that stuff. How did it become home? Did, did you, do you really remember like how Kansas City or why this became kind of home to you? Um, not really. You, you, I can't really pinpoint a, uh, a moment in time where, where that, uh, that occurred, but um, it's just a feeling you have over time, and um, yes, of course, uh, my my origins are in Orlando, Florida, but um, but now this is this has become home. Um, I'm here probably 11 and a half months out of the year, and um, I, I've I've like I said before, I've I've grown to to just love everything about about this city and um, Ilya alluded to the to the people and um, I, I couldn't agree more um, so yeah it's just a, a feeling you have and uh, I, I don't see that changing Roger you said when you left you always knew that if you were going to come back to MLS this is where you wanted to be does that give you a different perspective having gone somewhere else played somewhere else it's one thing to, to always be home. It's another thing to, to leave and come back. What kind of a perspective does that give you on things? Yeah, I mean, you get to see what's out there and you figure out that stuff. It's not better. You know, you know that the culture you have here that you built here with the guys, um, you know the mentality of the guys that have here. And, you know, over there is different. It's, uh, you know, uh, some clubs, um, you know, you get to see uh, teammates playing other clubs and, from other MLS clubs and even when I played in England, which was a great club too, but this is the place that I learned to love uh, coming into the Wizards at the time and I knew that I was wanting to come back and and but my dream was to play in the Premier League one day 
now coming back, you know, knowing that, hey, Kansas City is the place that I know that uh, wants to be successful. I know guys that want to work hard. I know guys that were there from the early years, which is uh, Beasley, uh, Zuzi, Seth, that have been here in the past, and we won the first championship in 2012. So I knew that was what I wanted to be and wanted to build because I know those guys want to fight and want to win more, and it's one of the reasons why I want to come back. We, okay. we, we got to get you an MLS Cup, though. Yeah, right? that's <laughs> why I'm here. Yeah. Right. Well, let's let's focus on that, Matt, because you you and I know the story about you watching that on the bus, right? And, yep. Yeah. In in Wigan, right? Yep. So, both questions I've asked you so far, Matt, you've really not wanted to talk about the past. You want to focus on what's in front, and I'm sure that's. Let, let's finish with that for everybody. Um, you guys already have accomplished so much, but tell me about the motivation. I guess I'll go with each of you guys individually here. Of what comes next and, and, and how do you guys continue to chase things? And I'll start with you on that regard, Matt. Like what, what do you envision for this team as you guys now know you're going to be here for the next couple of years? Winning as, as many trophies as we can. I think we, we owe it to the ownership group and um, everybody that's involved in the team. Um, and we owe it to our fans in, in the city to do everything possible. Uh, I think all of us have, have tasted it a little bit with last year's Open Cup, uh, and we know what it feels like. Winning is fun, and it's fun to bring trophies uh, to, to the team and, and to let other people share those trophies, uh, like the fans in the rest of the city. And so it's, it's uh, almost addicting, it's contagious, and you know we want to try and, and win as many things as possible. So. Uh, I mean, I think that's our goal every single year. Uh, I think that we have a great group, uh, you know, to be able to do that. Um, yeah, I mean, certain things have to go your way each year, but um, I think that we can set ourselves up in, in a position where we have a chance to win every single year. And as a player, I mean, that's, that's really all you can ask for, is you want to be involved um, in a team that has a chance to win. Um, that's why we play the game, and so, you know, for me, that's why it's been so enjoyable the last 10 seasons is because every single season that I've entered and every team that I've been on, I've felt that, um, and, and now I feel it more than ever. I, I love the group that we have. Um, I love these guys, you know, sitting, sitting next to me right now, and um, hopefully we're able to provide, you know, what I talked about for, for years to come. Ilya, I'm guessing... The fit could be fine, and they could play the right system and all that, but if the team wasn't good enough to go out and win, you, you might not feel the same way. That, that's got to be a huge component for this for you, right? Sure. Uh, we, we live and we move uh, by feelings. And we can talk about the city, the green city, with great areas to, to make life, but at the end, um, we, we, we do things because of our feelings. And I learned here um, how to win. Um, and this is because, again, they were winning before me. And when I came here, I could learn not how to do it, but um, I could achieve it. So um, the future, we are focused on, on finishing the top place uh, to be able to have a good position in the playoffs. And that's our, our uh, unique uh, goal. So. I know that we are going to be here for many years, but uh, we are just thinking about uh, 2018, and, and that's our, our main goal. Yeah. Graham, you've done a lot of winning, uh, basically through your entire college, all that stuff, to this point. As you look at this group, now that you know these guys, you're all gonna, gonna be going forward. How, how optimistic does that make you feel that you, know, you have a group of guys that are capable of winning going on into the future? Yeah, I mean, uh, absolutely. I think, uh, I think what what Matt said is is so true. Is uh, we we've been put in a position every year to to be successful. Um, it's a testament to really so many people. It's ownership group, coaches, front office staff. I, I mean, go down the list, and then the the team that you have around you as well. Um, yeah, we uh, we 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 feel really good about about. Uh, uh, the group that we have, um, we're in a, a great position to accomplish um, at least some of our goals, if not all of them. And 
Listen, I, I, I can't really say anything else that the, the first two guys said, but um, yeah, we're, we're ready to, to kind of get things going. You know, this is, this part of it isn't what really any of us are, are very comfortable with. We want to be out there playing and, and, and trying, to, trying to win trophies. Roger, can you put into perspective how difficult it is to stay good for a long stretch in any league, let alone a league like MLS, the way you guys have done? It is very difficult. I would say, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy to win. Uh, but I would say that, you know, in our club here at Sporting, uh, every year you come, the expectation is to win. You always have that. And I think, you know, every year, it doesn't matter what year it is, it doesn't go well some years. But you love that coming at the beginning of the year, that the expectation is to winning um, every tournament that comes with it. And as a player, you want to win. You want to do that. You want to play every tournament, even friendlies, you want to win them. Um, and as a team, you know, everybody's expectations are the same. Everybody wants to win. And, um, you know, and that's the vision everybody has for the future. And this is why we are here. And, you know, it's, um, it's great what we're going on. And eventually, you know, it's going to come and we're going to win more championships, I believe, just because the expectations that, you know, from um, Bucci, who's the youngest guy on the team right now, uh, to the oldest guy, you know, they know that what we have to do and what we have to come every day and try to accomplish. So, um, I, you know, uh, it's why, what I see in the future and why I'm here. We're not going to name the oldest guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, that, that was nice. That was nice. Is that Tim? Is that Tim? No, Brad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Brad. Sorry. Yeah. 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 We, 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 don't, yeah, we don't need to name names when it comes to that. Hey, guys, in all sincerity, I think on behalf of, of all of Sporting Kansas City Nation, we're, we're incredibly excited about this news, um, and, and we can't wait to see what, what else you guys have in store for us. So thanks a lot for the time. You're welcome. Thanks, Nate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's four sporting Kansas City legends going to be here for a while. It's great news.